What's going on guys, Rickstar here, coming at you with another video, and today we're going to be looking at what is protein? Before we get started, I'm going to have to put my teacher hat on and look smart because we're going to have to get all science up in here. Oh, that's better, do I look more? Yeah, oh wait. <coughs> No, and I do, do I look a bit more scientific now? Yes. I'm going to speak like this so I sound a little bit more intellectual because what we're literally going to do is we're going to be unlocking the mysteries of Mother Nature. It's going to be absolutely brilliant as we look at what is protein. Protein is pretty much the most amazing thing on Earth. It's pretty much that celebrity crush that you had when you were very young because what protein is, is it's one of the three energy sources that your body uses to function. So remember that celebrity crush? That's pretty much it. What our science guy is trying to say is that your body needs energy and you get that energy from food. And food is made up out of carbohydrate, fat or protein. Picture any food, any food at all and you can guarantee it's made out of at least one of those three and they are called macro nutrition. It's absolutely fascinating. It's got me on the edge of my seat. What protein is made out of is many organic compounds which which are also known as amino acids. What he's trying to say is that protein is made up of amino acids and a large portion of our body needs amino acids as well to do normal daily functions like study, fight off diseases and even build muscle. Yes, no, no, correct, correct. And there are 500 different types of amino acids. 500 different types. Our body only uses 21 and they're called proteinogenic. Proteinogenic amino acids. Our body only naturally creates 12, 12 of them. So, so we're left to supplement the other nine from other foreign sources. Uh, oh. So our body consumes all these different types of macronutrients and, and our body can only, only process some of them and then all the rest gets stored and oh, the process is absolutely fantastic and what happens is, is that you consume and then it gets stored and then it gets released. I don't know why he was mentioning 500, that just confuses everyone. So pretty much our body, there's 500 amino acids but you don't need to worry about that. Our body only uses 21. Now our body can create 12 of those 21 amino acids by themselves so that leaves 9 different types of amino acids that we need to put into our body to do daily functions and to grow muscles and how do we put that into our body? It is through food. like. Protein. That's all just too much. I don't know how the body does it. If you have too much fat or carb at the end of the day, your body will store it and use it later. Whereas with protein, it doesn't, your body doesn't store it as easy. So what it does is it flushes it through and it uses it. So that's why if you're wanting to build muscle, you need to keep topping up the protein, keep topping up those amino acids so you can get those gains. So exciting, very important. So if you're wanting to build muscle, you need to have these essential amino acids, branch chain amino acids in your body. Valine, isoleucine and leucine. Now leucine is fantastic, it's like the mothership, the mothership of all amino acids because the reason why it's the mothership is because leucine creates mTOR and mTOR creates the enzymes which creates muscle protein synthesis. It's absolutely fantastic. What he's trying to say, in a nutshell, is that if you're wanting to build muscle, you need these essential amino acids in your body. Now these all aid in the building, repairing, and the maintaining of muscle growth. Now how you get them is through protein, but they're also called branch chain amino acids, which you can also pick up over the counter and buy them if you feel like you're not getting enough from your food. So anyway, how much protein do you need? Rule of thumb is that you want about 0.8 to 1.2 grams per pound of body weight. That's about 2 grams per kg because I know here in Thailand that you use kg so 2 grams per kg. So where can you find protein? You can get it from poultry, you can get it from birds, chicken, uh, uh, fish, sea animals, you can get it from, from the swine, the pig, you can get it from, from beef or from cows. Cows! Yes, yes, you are right, you can find it in meat. Good on you. You can also find it in milk, in cheese, in nuts, and you can also find it in whey protein. I hope you found this video pretty informative and enjoyed it. Ignore this guy. What? Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to like, 
comment and subscribe and subscribe Brickstar Revolution and subscribe yes and subscribe and I'll catch you later Auto jungle.